eternal. I wake up all night long by the fragrance of the white lilies. I dream to come back to this earth as a songbird again and again. I declare myself in the hot air of the desert. I am, I will, I am the eternal. Yes, welcome to your show, Journey of the Spirit. And today I'll be speaking about the near-death experience. Please don't be so scared. It is really not that bad. Actually, those we have this opportunity to have near-death experience are actually most likely to have a life on this earth as a heaven. And I will explain to you and I will tell you what actually near-death experience teaches us and what we learn from it and how it happens and more and more. But for that, I'm going to show you a very easy Middle Eastern um, dish, which is an eggplant, very simple and very, very quick. So let's go. Let me show you my dish, favorite dish, Middle Eastern easy very simple all you need and very nice eggplant and tomatoes fresh tomatoes onion and green chili and the spices I need is very also very simple uh, turmeric powder and salt the most important ingredient of this dish is the extra virgin olive oil and after that, I'll be using the yogurt. So I will show you exactly what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to cut the eggplants. You can cut however shape you want. If you can, if you want to have the round shape or the square shape, and then I'll cut the onions, the tomatoes, and the green chili. You can just leave it like the whole. And then I'm going to show you how I'm going to bake it. So this is the baked eggplant dish. Okay, let's go. I'm cutting the eggplant like a circle. You can see. It's really nice. Fresh, fresh eggplant. Those who love eggplants. Wow, looks yummy, delicious. I'm going to put them in here. Now we're gonna have the tomatoes. Love to cook. Cooking is just a nice um, way of expressing yourself. I say dancing is like a poem, and cooking is just like music. And I'm sure you all love music. So there you go. Onions. Also, if you have noticed, like if you are not feeling well or you just need a little break, I'm sure you would love to make yourself relaxed while you are cooking. So, I have my onions ready. You can cut it like I'm cutting like a half and then like this. So I have onions, everything is ready. Now is the time to spice it up, juicy stuff. 
So now I'm mixing the turmeric. And the salt. And now the fun part, the rich part, the extra virgin olive oil. Cool. Now let me mix up. I'm mixing with the olive oil. It's very healthy for you. And then I'll just use my hand. Just to spice it up. I guess I'll just need a little bit more olive oil. onions, the tomatoes, a little bit more olive oil, there is no problem because this is really good for your health. there And I'll be speaking about more about life on this earth as heaven. Oh, look at that. So delicious. The fresh eggplants, olive oil, some turmeric powder, tomatoes, onions, green chili. And now it's ready to be baked. Look at this. Gorgeous. Okay. All right, baking time, the eggplant, Middle Eastern style. All right, here we go. Let me put the oven temperature, bake. All right, okay, so now I'll be speaking more about heaven on earth. Let's go. Scientists around the world still haven't been able to find out exactly what happens after our death. So their death experience still has become a mystery to all of us. Exactly what happens after you die. And what you see and what you go through. Many different aspects, spiritual, religious. But this is what most of the experiences has been summoned up that uh, we usually see the light, the light of the eternal life, heaven. And once those, they are lucky enough to come back to this earth, since they already have seen that this life is so vulnerable, so short, then they become to accept life just very short time experience because they know that the other side of the world heaven is right there so they like to do the things they love to enjoy treat people nice be more kind uh, be less materialistic and pay attention to more 
kindness, sweetness, and love. So this is the, the most important part of having narrative experience. This actually teaches you that this life is just a short journey and heaven is right there. So instead of having so much, uh, putting so much effort in the materialistic world and you know its uh, outward beauty, let's put our our more effort on our inner beauty, and also let's live the life that we will live in eternal. So make this earth as a heaven. Make your life as heaven. Become heaven on earth. And how? Be kind, be very sweet, be loving. Let's um, keep more and more simplified life, simplified lifestyle, because you know this is so short. And also remember that um, no matter how much successful we are, how much materialistic success we have, at the end, all we leave behind is our memory and that memory is what love and I always say love is above all so don't take near-death experience to something as a as a sadness or as a pain no you remember if you are lucky enough to see the other side of the world and then you come back to this art that means you are one in a million that means the the divine has given you that power that experience to to see the whole life in a different aspect to see something that no one has been able to see no creature has seen even sometimes you will be able to see the unseen with that power and your life is never going to be the same because you already know that this life is just such a short dream. So no matter what with our near-death experiences or our normal life experiences, let's all start to create our life as a project as I am heaven on earth. My work, my words, my kindness, my behavior, everything belongs to heaven. And then we don't have to wait for the eternal life. This life itself will become heaven on earth. So this is it for today. Now let me go and check my eggplant dish and let's all enjoy the dish. delicious dish. Wow. I'm just gonna put the yogurt on the top. That's it. Try. Mm. It's so good. So healthy, so yummy. Like 
life is just too short and it's all about 